How you doing, Jeff Zimfer? Welcome to another bonus episode of Loan Officer Marketing TV. Okay, so uh, every year the National Association of Realtors does this incredible in-depth research study where they survey over 80,000 home buyers who've bought a home over the last 12 month period. And they uh, this year got about 5,000 of those uh, surveyed to respond. And every year this this uh, study, the, uh, uh, the um, annual home buyers and sellers profile by the NIR produces some really interesting results and it's really powerful for you and your business. So I thought I'd do just kind of a real off the cuff from the home office here um, bonus session of Loan Officer Marketing TV and give you a free access to this thing. It costs 150 bucks to uh, buy this uh, report and I wanted to just share it with you as a uh, follower of Loan Officer Marketing TV. So if you like it, please just hit the like button below or hit some comments on some of the highlights I'm going to share with you right now. And then we'll actually, I'll do a couple follow-up series on the, the uh, info in this uh, home buyer and seller profile report and how you can use this in your business. But here's some interesting stuff. So for 2011, as compared to 2010, the percentage of first-time home buyers in 2010, um, I'm sorry, in 2011, was only 37% of home buyers in 2011 year to date. That's a 50% drop versus 2010. Kind of interesting. The uh, median age of uh, buyers in 2011 was 45 years old versus 39 years old. And the average uh, time that somebody took to go from um, searching for a home to actually buying, purchasing that home, 12 weeks was the average time they spent searching for a home and the average homes they looked at, the average number of homes was 12 homes. Kind of interesting when you think about in your business setting up time frames for buyers and how long that uh, you anticipate the buying cycle to take. And so from that you can look at, well, 12 weeks on average. 2011, the average uh, age of the home buyer went up a bit from 39 to 45 and the amount of uh, number of first time home buyers actually decreased. Kind of interesting. Um, and this may be useful info when you you know determine what your target markets are going to be for you and your mortgage business. Um, some more interesting stats for you that I thought you might find useful. 89% of those who bought a home in 2011 used an agent. And again, that's an uptick as well. This is a growing trend um, for those that are using agents, not a decreasing trend. So the whole internet replacing real estate agents doesn't look like it's happening here. Um, how many people finance their homes? Hey, 87% of people who bought a home in 2011 that responded to this survey um, used financing. Typical financing was at least 80% or more. The study shows it's actually a little bit higher than that, so that speaks to the fact that people were putting probably uh, uh, less than 20% down uh, on, uh, on uh, quite frequently. So at least 80% or more um, financing on that. So good news for us to stay in business, right? People need the financing. Uh, some interesting stats here, and you'll have to read this yourself. It's kind of kind of funny. 23% um, of those surveyed said the mortgage process was difficult. 16% said it was way more difficult than they expected. So what is that now? We've got uh, you know 20, 34, um, 40 plus percent of uh, people finding the mortgage process difficult. Wonder how you could use that in your marketing and the front end marketing that you do in helping to, you know, in terms of your one of your unique selling positions or your positioning statements can be about how you simplify the mortgage process or educating people on the home buying process and taking them through a three, four, five step video <clears throat> educational series about the home buying process or providing some types of handouts and PDFs and documents to make that process more easy to understand. How about integrating some more handholding in your, you know, customer service and post loan app and process follow-up all kinds of th ways you can leverage this to create more wow factor you know really incredible moments for you and your customers and you know, how that relates to your real estate agents as referral partners when that word gets back to them or when you show up and say look I've read the, the National Association of uh, uh, home buyer and seller profile report and it says in here that uh, you know so 39% of the people found the mortgage process to be difficult. Here's how I address that as a mortgage professional, Mr. or Mrs. Agent. That's my alarm, that's an agent calling right now. <laughs> um, so it goes on and on, there's just such great, great info in here. Um, it's interesting, in 2011, 40% of buyers found the home that they actually bought online. Kind of interesting. In 2001, so take it way back, only 8% of the people 
So obviously the trend of the internet, more people using the internet as a research tool for finding homes, but still 89% um, of people, even though they may find um, an area or several homes, 89% uh, of people are using an agent to purchase that home. So online research, look at homes, get some profiles, get some, re and then actually the study goes on to say about how many people actually use the internet to go out and drive, do drive-bys and drive-by properties and look at sign riders and stuff. So if you want to start promoting your services via call capture, sign riders, QR codes, things like that, um, that is actually the top three info sources for the home buying process is number one, online, to get educated, to learn, to you know learn more about specific areas and things like that. Number two is agents, okay? And that is when they want to drill down a little bit further on specific areas and homes and perhaps info about schools and so forth. And number three, yard signs. Yard signs, people actually getting in their car, driving around and looking at the properties once they've done the research on them online. So, um, Lots of good info in here. I mean, in terms of agents, this is why you know I preach working with agents as your number one referral source as an oil well, because once that oil well is tapped, it continues to produce for you. And the trends are saying that more and more consumers are going to be working with agents moving forward, not less. And of course, needing, needing professional consultation from them and you. One final note, nine out of 10 people using the internet to research where to buy a home and properties and so forth, nine out of 10 of them, uh, what does it say? Nine out of ten using the internet. Yeah, used an agent. Sorry, can't read my own handwriting. So nine out of ten people that are using the internet to search uh, for properties, nine out of ten of them are also using an agent. So that's a huge percentage. Keep that in mind when you're starting to evaluate where you're going to invest your time and your money and your resources. If it's running ads, if it's buying leads, if it's you know doing whatever, you'd be well served to invest your time and resources intelligently in working to capture real estate agents as referral partners. And that's what we're all about here. So hopefully this helps for you. It's free for you. Download it right here. There should be a button or something or an icon to click on so you can download this free report um, that I paid $150 for. If you like it, if, if you appreciate it, give me a like, give me a comment here on the blog and most importantly read through it this is a great opportunity to print this out and share it with your agents email it to them as a PDF schedule coffee talks uh, to go through the information in here because it's quite revealing and look for more blog posts blog posts coming up about this and how you can use it and leverage it in your business so that's all for now the bonus episode of loan officer marketing TV Jeff Zimfer make it a great day